Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are taking our first look at Nahubik's Dungeon Master. So, it is a dungeon management simulation game, and it's supposed to it's supposed to have a little bit of comedy in there. It's supposed to be quite funny. I've seen little little snippets here and there, and I think everyone will enjoy it quite quite well. So, let's hop in here. I haven't had a chance to play it, so this is our first run. Uh, there's a campaign mode and a sandbox mode. I think we'll go do the campaign mode just to see how that is and we'll check things out. So, do you wish to start the campaign? Yes. Yes, I do. Tasting the tavern's products. Sharpening weapons. Purchasing a personal airship. I could use a personal airship. Subscribing to Dungeons and Despots. Writing last will and testaments. Preparatory summoning of demons. Ooh. Calculating the average IQ of minions. That's probably not going to take much. Submission to the Dungeon Master training course in progress. Cleaning troll litter crates. Yeah, so they've got a, quite a few of these. Morning the previous steward. Uh-oh. Alright, guys. I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to wait for the game to get started, and we'll be right back. Okay, that was interesting. Decades, the dungeon of Nalbuk has been one of the crown jewels of the lands of Fang. Nahulburk. That's how he said it? Nahulburk? Okay, Nahulburk. Uh, even though I don't see an R in there. Or nah Nahul... Yeah, something like that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go next. Oh, that's funny. I never heard of it when I was studying for my Bitter Warlock Sidekick certification. Um, public relations are tough for independent dungeons. Oh, aren't you affiliated with the Dungeons Fund? With those unscrupulous parasites? Never. <clears throat> but we do have the most insidious traps, the most cunning guards, the most dreadful monsters, and the most remarkable treasures. How delightful. May I look around? No, uh, we, we've been renovating. The paint's still wet. Ah, uh, too bad. Despite our reputation being well established, I've decided that this dungeon needs to take things to the next level. Yes, yes, the ad made that very clear. And I need more time for my magical research. Certainly. So, about my compensation, I... <coughs> well, let's not quibble over trifles. I'm aligned with industry norms. And not to mention, there's the gratification of joining a renowned wizard. Yes, of course. May I meet the other members of the team? Well, actually, not today. They're attending a seminar for process uh, improvement. You know what I mean. Process? The clock is ticking, and you're not the only applicant. What's your decision? This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. I'm interested. Not like I have a choice anyway. No one's hiring half-goblins. There's too much discrimination in this sector. All right, I'm in. Perfect, perfect. You made the right choice. And now? Yes? Get to work, you wretch! I don't pay people to stand around. Uh, yes, master. All right, let's see. Where is the dungeon stuff? What state are the premises in? I'll have a look around the property. <laughs> I wonder if signing this contract was such a good idea. Okay, so let's take a look around here. Yes, we're moving the camera. What's next? Rotate the camera. Zoom in. Zoom out. First steps. Welcome to the dungeon. The dungeon has been in a poor state for too long. Your mission is to restore it. 
In other words, make it profitable. Reputation, as you can see, that its reputation is currently at one, which is really bad. Your goal is to improve it and make it the most feared and attractive dungeon in the lands of Fang. Okay. Select Zan, Zan, uh, Zangdar, Zangdar, Zangdar the Master. Where is Where is Zangdar? Is this Is this Zangdar over here? Yes. Okay, this is Zangdar the Master of the Dungeon. When his patience gauge reaches zero, it's game over. So we got to keep this dude happy, apparently. Okay. All right, let's see. I ate well. I'm in good shape. I'm all clean. I'm motivated. Interesting. Zangdar, a dark and mysterious man, master of the dungeon. He likes to give you his. He likes to give his advisors Revax the whip. He possesses a great evil warlock, but has yet to prove it. <clears throat> okay. So select Revax. Where is there's Revax over here? Yes. Meet Revax, the new dungeon steward. In other words, the head stooge. Okay. Let's see. I eat well, good shape. I'm all clean. A dungeon master is nothing without his right hand man. Imagine he would have to talk to his minions and monsters directly. Revax may be venal, but he is also smarter than most. Naturally cowardly and cunning. Some may even say... He has taken advantage of Zangdar's credulity and secretly runs the dungeon in his stead. Okay, so we got to select a minion now, huh? All right, so what do we got here? We've got this person. I'm busy. All right, minion info. A minion has an origin, a profession, a rank, and a salary. Grade one minions in turns cost nothing. Okay. She is a level 8, and she's a cook. Uh, as minions gain experience while working, thus increasing their rank. Higher ranking minions claim higher salaries, but fail less in their task. Okay. In the lands of Fang, the unit of time is the 10-day week. Every week, all minions receive their salary. The dungeon fees deducted each week are shown in orange. Okay. Uh, minion needs. Each minion has specific needs. If these needs, needs aren't met, health and morale gauges will decline. Okay. Uh, minions die when they run out of health and resign when their morale hits rock bottom. Master, if I may, isn't it a bit strange for an evil dungeon to have its tavern open to the public? Ah, yes. Well, it's a convenient way to make some money. But I'm not very good at managing it. I see. Well, it could prove to be useful. Hmm. Okay, so we have... This is our tavern, and it's open to the public. So, I'm just kind of taking a look at stuff here. They'll come in, they turn, they go this way, and we have... We have our... Our pub, we have our kitchen, our tavern, whatever you want to call it. What? We'll want? never be able to retain our staff with such rundown premises, Master. I have no money to spend on a luxury lounge for my lazy servants. Oh, but it's a matter of standards. Take the Temple of Wismo, for example. They have 18 toilets just for the servants. What? Those frauds. Uh, well, do what you must, but don't go overboard. We're not running a hotel. Let's see. We won't get anywhere without bathrooms, for starters. Chamber pots and manure heaps are so last century. Okay. All right, so we got to build a bathroom and we got to place two latrines. So I'm kind of thinking, let's see, let's come back in here. Is it going to tell me where to put it? No, no, it's not. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we put a wall here, or a little room right here. That way it kind of helps direct uh, traffic a little bit, if you will. 
And let me see, that mm, that wall's gonna be a little bit big. I don't know if this building's big enough. The room must be accessible to validate. Try adding a door. Uh, add a door here. I would like to add a door on both sides, but I think that might be asking for a headache. Uh, let's see, we got latrines. Build a bathroom, put in two latrines. I don't know. Technically, I could shrink it down to where it's only half the size. Can I? No, it won't let me undo it. Okay, well. I guess for right now, I mean, we do have washing machine. All of that goes into the bathroom, huh? Okay. Um, we can delete, we can add walls, we can remove walls. You know, do I want to make this bigger? No, it's just wanting me to validate. Okay. Time. Time can be stopped and sped up. Uh, sped up construction of the bathroom to get it done faster. Okay. a decent bathroom now dormitories with beds i don't pay you to nap speaking of payment later later super busy magical research and all that i think i'll have to put a little slush fund aside yep okay so it wants me to build a dormitory in place two beds so I don't know how big any of these rooms need to be. Uh, allows two minions to rent. Oh, those are the bunk beds. Uh, cannot be used by dwarves, trolls, and vampires. Cannot be used by dwarves, trolls, and vampires. Okay. Okay, so maybe we should put... I did that and I put a door there can I not oh, I already put a door put a door there and we just need we just need two beds right technically I could put three beds but we only need two so that's all I'm gonna do Oh, no, 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 don't cancel, validate. There we go. The the odd shape of the tower is going to prove to be quite, uh, quite frustrating. Hopefully, later on, we have bigger rooms and we don't have quite so many, like, pillars and stuff in our way. Master, the living quarters improvements are complete. Huh. Not bad, but very expensive. We'll have to find some more money. If I'd wanted to go bankrupt, I'd have hired an interior designer. I hear you, but given the state of the dungeon, I'm not sure how we could defeat a party of adventurers, even beginners. If we're not up to snuff, it'll be your fault, entirely. But I just got here, and, well, I do serve an evil wizard, not a charity. Okay. So, what does it want from us? Um, I don't know. Oh, got another bubble. We have to develop this tavern to bring in some income. Okay. The old tavern keeper is gone. Yet another ungrateful coward. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've got better things to do. I must focus on my magical research and developing my management skills. I can handle it. So, let's see. We need tables for customers, equipment for serving food and drinks, Meantime, I shall subscribe to a few periodical publications about evil dungeon management. We need to get this up to date. I wonder if he knows what he is doing. 
Probably not. Don't you overspend. We want to extort gold from the poor, not waste our money on furniture for drunkards. Okay. Alright, select the tavern. I have selected the tavern, yes. Ah, here we go. Alright, let's see. Um, the tavern attracts customers looking to spend their gold. Each item in the tavern has a maintenance cost that is automatically deducted at the beginning of every week, just like wages. The sum in orange includes salaries and the tavern's maintenance cost. Okay. Minion, zero. Weekly cost, 17. People waiting in line, zero. Uh, the number of customers, the tavern, and the tavern's income depends on the number of seats. For the moment, your idiot minions occupy the places of your precious customers to eat. Select the editing tool to add items to the tavern. Okay, and I'm guessing it's the modify the tavern to accommodate four additional customers. Okay, accommodates up to four clients, allows minions to consume a dish to feed themselves, and not be used by dwarves. Okay. That'll give us one more table. By the troll's limp! Minions use a tavern as their canteen. Hmm, we should take that into account. There. Table and sideboard. This should be enough to lure in a few dupes. I hired an evil dungeon steward, not a lunch lady. Indeed, Master. But we need some revenue. Look, all these customers should earn us some gold. Okay. Orlov for debrief, Master. Hey! What's with this dull-looking goblin? Half goblin? Who is this brute? He is the dungeon swordmaster and guard commander. So, are you back from the retaliatory raid? Affirmative. We made it to target location, the so-called Temple of Wismal. Enemy ambush fighting. 100% loss rate on our side. Debrief over. What? You turkeys! I was injured six times myself. We were expected. I'm the guard commander, not a marauder. This requires specific operational preparation. Clearly. This doesn't speak highly about your abilities. Who asked you, you withered piece of lettuce? Silence, you two. Revax is our new steward. As for you, Orloff, maybe I should get a new swordmaster. Certainly, sir. But I'll complain to the Guild of Mercenaries and Dungeon Guards. This wasn't in my job description. <sighs> Cursed me the bowels of the great Talifern. I'm so sick of these union demands. Beat it, both of you. I'm going back to my research. Hmm. I think we'd better try to collaborate. In our mutual interest, sword master. Yeah. Affirmative. For now, you little... I mean, yes, steward. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about unions or unionized unionized evil. That's that's uh, hmm. That's a very 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 interesting little statement right there. All right, let's see what they got for us now. This failed raid explains why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with slackers first. Yes, deal with the slackers. We can't have slackers in our dungeon. Affirmative. The downsizing caused by the incursion attempt on the Temple of Wismal is weighing on staff rotation. We must recruit new elite guards. Guards are expensive. I read in Dungeons and Despots that support roles should be outsourced as part of a... Uh, atomized management of the company's processes. Don't you mean optimized, Master? Silence! 
You know nothing of modern dungeon management vocabulary. As for you, improve the guard, but with no superfluous expenses. We could hire a few interns. They shouldn't cost us much. We'd just have to think about feeding them from time to time. Affirmative. That's it for now. I'll bring them up to speed. Trust me on that. Attention! At ease. Okay, so we need a guard room. The guard room is vital to the dungeon's defense. Place it near the dungeon's entrance. Okay. So, like, right here in front? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Not a very big guard room. Okay, I want to edit this. There it goes. Yes. Just like that. That should be... That should be a decent size. How big is this table? Give me the table. Um... Oh, yeah, we gotta do a door first. My bad. I, I was trying to jump straight into the tables and stuff. What do we got here? A human guard locker and legionous lig panel used for downtime martial stability. It's a table. Oh, that is a big table, isn't it? Uh, I guess let's do a table there. Okay, guard lockers. Each locker automatically recruits one or more guards. They go about their business until the alarm goes off. When it does, they automatically go into battle. Uh, beware, each locker increases the population of the dungeon. The number of guards in the dungeon is always displayed. Ah, the first interns have arrived. Soldiers, attention! Line up in pairs in the front rank. I only want to see one head. I'm curious to see how he goes about training them. Ideally, we should find a pile of dirt and make them dig a hole to bury him. But, but that's absurd. Negative. This is training through blind obedience. To think is to disobey. Come on, on the double, rookies. Up two, up two, up two. Okay. Interesting. To say the least. What is this? Intruders are exploring the dungeon. Where? Ooh. Right. Aim for the knees and the eyes. Be sly and cruel. Honor and chivalry are for losers. And they're gonna go right past the guard room and always I, ready for work. I can't force the guards to go do anything. Maybe we should have put the guard room right here so they had to go through the guard room. I mean, I'd like to survive the incursion. What is this? Intruders are exploring the dungeon. Yes, I know this. Is there a way I can sound an alarm or something? No. Alright, well, I guess speed things up then, and we'll see... We'll see what happens. Here they go. They're going down there. Are they going to go in the guard room? Oh, they went in the guard room. So I must say that is that is something that kind of kind of concerns me is the fact that 
they walked right past the guard room and there was no way for me to alert the guards or you know say hey we got dudes running around here a little little bit concerning maybe something later on will give some sort of like alert or something oh one of our guards went down Pretty brief. The intruders were evicted from the perimeter. Clean sweep. Ah, finally. This is a dungeon, not a squat for teenage pipe smoking dropouts. Why do we got a strike? How do I select this person striking? Uh, survive your first incursion during the campaign. Okay, well, we did survive. Yay, I got an achievement. Relax! Why are my minions so agitated? I can't focus in such a ruckus. One of the servants is on strike, Master. He's protesting against his working conditions. I could send the guards to slaughter this slacker. Civilians are so entitled. I'm not sure that's the best approach for retaining competent staff, Master. We must listen to his demands and fulfill them, if they're legitimate. I don't care about the specifics. I just need this rocket silenced. Deal with it, or you'll get the whip. Incidentally, there's an article in Dungeons and Despots about the psychological torture of middle management minions. <laughs> All right, Excuse let's see what me? we got. Strike. At the beginning of each week, strikes can break out in the dungeon with potentially disastrous consequences. Okay. Uh, strikes have the effect of annoying Zangdar. Okay. When a striker's energy gauge is empty, they stop protesting. If this happens, the morale of the minion is greatly reduced. The strikes, uh, strikes union always displays their demands meet their demands to end the strike you know what forget it that demands are unattainable for now just get rid of the ingrids by firing them however firing a minion costs gold the amount depends on their rank okay so what is they want they want wants to work with their pet chicken wants to work six days per 10 day week wants dental coverage Wants five weeks off a year, wants a raise, wants the coffee break, uh, wants to be able to drink in the workplace, wants to sit five minutes per hour worked, uh, a glass of water, and also wants Zangdar's resignation okay so they're like yeah we don't even want the boss here the boss can just leave by you know they don't they don't care they really don't all right so it's wanting me to fire the boss or not the boss but the minion let's go ahead terminate him pay the fee Out with the striker it'll make an example of him still i should try to make sure it doesn't happen again Probably it's done idea. master everything is back to normal the strike is over. About time. Let's move on. I've just been informed that the Temple of Wismo has increased its reputation, while we've been sitting on our haunches whistling nursery rhymes. We should limit the risk of strikes. The dungeon won't be able to repel adventurers with disgruntled minions. Affirmative. To smash those little snoopers, you need motivated, and therefore well-fed guards. These matters are unworthy of a high-level wizard. They're better suited for interns. Of course, Master. <laughs> I'll see what I can come up with, but we'll need a cook. Okay. As long as they're not too expensive and can cook sumptuous meals. Bear and beer stew, for example. Mm. It's also necessary to adapt the food to each species. If we serve elfish fare to goblins, They'll start eating the elves, too. Okay, let's see. We need to build an office for the steward. Build Revax, Revax's office. Place 
one desk of inhuman resources. Okay, where do I want to put his office at? You know what? I'm going to put his office... Mm. Part of me says maybe we should put it on the back side of this, but another part of me is like maybe it's over here. I don't know. I don't know how big of an office he's going to end up needing. Oh, he has several items. Oh, he's probably going to need a... Yes, he's going to need a bed and a shower and all... Okay, so how about this? How about we go from right there? That is such a tiny room. That is such a tiny room. I mean, he doesn't need big right now, right? We just need enough for a... Uh... Okay. We're going to keep his office small. Very small. All right, to review profits for recruitment, click on the recruitment tab. Okay, why can I not pause things? Because it's in it's locked down. Hold on. Uh, let's see, recruitment tab. Let's cook. Go ahead, recruit the cook. Select the orc minion to view his information. An orc minion. Okay, there it is. Click on the navigation arrow to display the second page. Uh, the origin of the minion determines its special trait and behaviors. For example, orcs are carnivorous, which requires your kitchens to produce meals of meat. Okay. you're looking for a cook I thought I already hired a cook well yes but I just hired one an orc cook it's the best I could afford are you qualified I sure am I've been a cook a barber adventurer surgeon executioner and embalmer I can peel and bone like nobody's business Mel boots here to serve you with a preference for ale anyway do you have someone for your tavern? Well, actually, we don't. It is true we could use a good tavern keeper, but my budget's a bit tight. I'll skim my pay off the take. Come on, you won't regret it. I'll turn it into a first-class boozing den. All of Fang will come here to get hammered. Just gotta keep the dishes real salty. Gotcha. Relocating towards the bar. March. Hop two. Hop two. Okay, canteen. Your minions are eating at the tavern, reducing the maximum number of customers. A canteen allows minions to eat in a separate room, which won't scare away your most wealthy cl uh, clientele. Okay, so it wants me to build a canteen now. That's not a surprise. Um... Canteen. You know, I guess, I guess I'm going to put my canteen back here. What do you mean I can't put it right here? Seriously? I want the door over here. 
Okay, what if I what if I add walls to this and we bring it down? Well, you know what? It'd probably we probably just need to bring it out one. It's probably all we need to do. Oh, it won't do that, huh? Well, that's not cool. Okay. We have significantly improved the minions' living conditions. And for cheap, too. And we'll serve them good. Cheap plunk, hard ale, and sausage that'll dry out your gullet. What? Who is this individual? It's, um, Mel, the new tavern keeper. I'll explain. Ugh, my patience is running thin. We spend too much on nonsense here. And our reputation is stagnating. Hey, uh, no offense, but your dungeon's got quite a stench, don't you think? Reeks like a bunch of dead rats. What? No, it doesn't. We just cleaned the mess and fired the slackers. Just saying, but this morning I saw a cockroach so grossed out it puked. Mind you, I'm not the kind to wash the mugs every day or to take more than one bath a month, but hey, there are limits to filth. Hmm, it is true that to attract a certain class of customers or servants, we'll need to raise our standards. Cleaning, improving sanitary facilities, and hiring decent domestics. Yep, exactly. Elves will do the trick. I know there are a bunch of lettuce munchers who think they're hot dung, but they don't mess around with cleanliness. Hire an elf domestic, huh? All right, elves have special needs too. Elven traits, vegetarian, foppish, and carefree. What is foppish? I don't think I've ever come across that term. Hmm. Uh, reminder, information on origins can be found on the minions page. Yeah, let's go ahead and recruit that. Okay. Select a bathroom to view its information. No discrimination of origin or gender here. Everyone gets along in the perfect harmony. Free of any quarrel or argument about suspicious hair on soap bars. It is a work of fiction after all. Uh, room items produce dirt, as do the minions when they move around. Depending on the on their origin or their traits, hygiene or dirtiness has such an impact on the morale of minions, such as elves or green skins. Okay, this button indicates to the domestics whether this room should be cleaned regularly. All right, we got to place two showers in the shower room, hire an elf cook, place a stove in the kitchen, and place a pantry in the kitchen. Okay, hold up. Back it up. Let me see here. So, the bathroom. Mud inflow, boiler, washing machine, towel holder, shelf, wet floor sign. These are all decos, right? Yeah, that's all deco. Hmm... Oh, okay. I don't know why it says place two showers in the shower room. Is that not the bathroom? Uh, 
this room has no walls. Wait, hold on. Okay, we're going to validate that. Uh, we've already hired the cook. Oh no, we haven't hired the cook yet. Hold on, I need to find the cook. Uh, you're an elf, you're a cook. Recruit you. Need a stove. And we need a pantry. Okay. Oh, but what might this object in this shower be? A faucet? I see. Fascinating. Rebax. The Temple of Wismal had marble columns installed. I just saw the etchings in the Dungeons and Despots magazine. Oh, not again with that rag. We need to revamp my dungeon's decor. This is an essential aspect of the, uh, the prolificacy of this organization's processes. Productivity, Master. But you said we don't have the funds to... Just make some improvements, or I'll turn you into a flower pot. And stop contradicting my managerial guidelines, or you'll get your termination notice from Ordoff's crossbow. Okay, decorations. Click on the interior tab. Alright, let me let me slow things down here a little bit. Go ahead and pause that. Alright. So place four decorations. So we're gonna have to unlock stuff. So what do we got? Relic pedestal allows you to display a relic or a spell book. An exposed item progressively increases the dungeon's reputation, but increases the frequency of incursions. We've got traps. Ah, here we go. Decorations. Uh, we got a brazier. We've got a candle robber. We got empty fountain. We got an octagonal fountain. Water leaves provided provided free of charge. Okay, well let's do this. Let's put it like in the entryway, shall we? Oh no, I kind of want to put it right there. Yeah, I know it's not centered, but it's it's the best I can do with what I got. So I can't put it there? Why? I can put it that there. That's weird. Okay, well, do that, and then I'm just going to place this guy. No, I can't place it in here. Alright, let's see what happens. choice of decor. I shall write to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang to share my creative insight. I hope this won't get us into trouble. Hello, I'm looking for the master of the dungeon of Nahalbuk. Well, I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. Are you going to publish his article on interior decoration? I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette editorial board. I am Doris Mortadella, head inspector of the Dungeons Fund. I'm here for your membership application. What? The DF? But 
Uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such communication is to be considered as a membership application to its parent company, the Dungeons Fund, unless expressly stated otherwise. But that's... Uh, oh, puss and boils! This is utter nonsense! What if we refuse to join? That is your right. In accordance with the DF regulations, as ratified through case law by all courts in the lands of Fang, we would be entitled to a compensation of 200,000 gold coins. 200... What? That's racketeering! It'd be easier to join the DF like most proper dungeons. I will have your master sign the documents. A measly 412 scrolls for a small dungeon like yours. Pox and mutant rats! Remax! In my office! Immediately! Okay, general terms and conditions of servitude. Oh, this is a lot. like a contract all right guys i'm gonna let y'all pause it as i scroll down and y'all can read all that because that's a that's a lot to read here these aren't even words they're just they're just things yeah i was skimming it while we were doing this Yes, or yes in red. Congratulations on joining the Dungeons Fund. I will now share with you all my initial reports requiring immediate action on your part. By Gazor tentacles! I can't believe we got played like this! Oh, I can already feel one of my migraines coming on. Relax! Deal with it! I've noted you lack a space dedicated to temporary interruptions of the activity of the staff, assuming the dungeon's ancillary functions. This can hurt their performance and the profitability of secondary revenue sources. Uh, you... Damn, my hermetic administration class seems like a lifetime ago. Are you asking for a break room for our minions so that they stop hanging out at the tavern? A crude simplification, but this would be a good starting point for a plan of action, yes. Alright, minion needs. The minion's morale gauge is influenced by three distinct needs. Room cleanliness, eating their fill, and entertainment. Alright guys, well I think we're going to hold off right there. So that was our first look at uh, I can't I, I'm never gonna say it Neba Neba hooks dungeon master yeah um, interesting little game I like I like the little I like the little uh, the little voiceovers the little characters and stuff how they bicker and fight with each other I find it quite amusing I think there might be something to the game so y'all let me know what you think about the game so far down in the comments and if you want to see more, we can do a series on this, but y'all got to let me know. So, but that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share that video on any social media you're using. You guys look to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.